Okay, boys and girls. So it is time to talk about multiplication. And in order to understand what multiplication is, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to explore what it really means. And the first way is by looking at what's called an array. An array is a group of things in um, coming in rows or columns. And if you can look at this array, there are three columns with four things in each row. So you can see one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we see that there are these three groups of four, but we need to be able to figure out how many all together, right? So if we wanted to add, we simply could do four plus four plus four, and we would find the answer to be 12 if we added up four three times. But a quicker way to say that, instead of doing four plus four plus four, we could just say three times four and get the answer 12. So really when we're multiplying, the first number is telling us how many groups and the second number is telling us the number of things in each group. So there are three groups, see where we see them, one, two, three, and in each group there are four things. So if we do three times four, we would get 12. It's the same thing as adding up four three times. Let's look at another way of looking at it, equal groups. So in this case, it's the same problem we're seeing here, three times four, but in this case, we're seeing them as groups in the circles instead of in rows. But essentially, it's the same problem. There are three groups. There are four things in each group. So three times four equals 12. Again, we could add up four plus four plus four, but a quicker way of saying it would just be to say three times four. Okay, let's move on and see if we can look at one more way we can think about it. And this is called repeated addition. So again, instead of adding up four three times, it's just quicker to say three times four. The answer is going to be the same, whether we added up four three times or we said three times four, the answer would be 12 either way. Finally, we can look at it on a number line, okay? A bird hops four centimeters each time, where does it land? Well, if it hops four centimeters the first hop, and four centimeters the second hop, and four centimeters the third hop, that's three hops with four centimeters for each hop, again, four times three, or three times four in this case, equals 12. 